welcome back to my channel. Uh, let us learn a few NCRT questions on electron dot structure. First one is write the electron dot structure for sodium. We all know the atomic number of uh, sodium is 11. So if I distribute the electrons in K, L and M shell, two electrons can be accommodated in K shell and that's the maximum. And eight electrons can be accommodated in L, that's the maximum. Now coming to M, 2 plus 8 is 10 and plus 1 is 11. So the last um, shell is M shell and it can accommodate one electron. So students, we should remember that whenever we are writing or a question is asked like this, write the electron dot structure of a particular atom, then we are only going to represent the valence electron. So the valence electron is defined as the outermost electron present in an uh, orbit. So suppose if I consider this as a particular atom of a, uh, a random element, then this will be, suppose I say L is the um, outermost orbit. So now the electrons of the L shell will be valence electron. Okay, so now here coming back, sodium is having one valence electron. So the answer or how to represent it is going to be writing sodium and just writing one dot on it. Uh, so the dot can be written anywhere around sodium just to represent the electron dot structure of sodium. Okay, so this is going to be only the valence electron. So now next we will go ahead with the next uh, example, magnesium. So magnesium is having atomic number 12, that is Z is 12. Now I have to write down the electron dot structure of magnesium. So first let us write the electrons in K, L, M, K, L and M shell, 2 electrons in K shell, 8 electrons in L, 2 plus 8 is 10. So now the remaining 2 I will be writing in M shell. So now M becomes the outermost shell and how many electrons is it comprising of? 2 electrons. So now I will write magnesium and I will write 2 electrons. Okay, so this is how I represent magnesium. That is electron dot structure of magnesium. Now similarly, let's look into oxygen. The atomic uh, number of oxygen is 8. Now if I distribute the electrons in K, L, M shell, 2 electrons maximum in K shell. 8 minus 2 is 6. So 6 electrons will be in L shell. So now the outermost orbit is L shell and how many valence electrons are there? 6 valence electrons. So now oxygen I will write. And then I will write 6 electrons around oxygen. Okay, so this means that uh, there are 6 valence electrons and this is the representation of um, electron dot structure of oxygen. So thank you so much.